Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the function mode on your calculator to create a table, a number table, um, using your Casio calculator. So I have a couple of examples I'm going to show you. The first one is 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 in the domain uh, x is greater than or equal to minus 2, but less than or equal to 2. So to put in our function, first we need to put it in the right mode. So we press mode and 3 for table. So this brings up f of x equal to. So now to input our function, 2x squared, you press 2. Now to get x, you need to press alpha and x. So that gives us 2x and we can square it. So 2x squared minus 4. To get x, it's alpha x and then plus 7 like that. Press equals. And then it brings up an option, start. So this is what do you want your lowest number to be? Well, we want our lowest number to be minus 2. So let's type in minus 2 equals. Where do we want to end? What's our highest number? We want 2. So you type in 2 equals. And step. This is asking how big of a step do you want the x's to go up in? The default is 1, but you can change that to whatever you want. If you have a really big domain you might go up in tens if you have a really small domain you might go up in say half or 0 0.1 let's go with one for this one so we press equals and this gives us our table so in the left hand column we have our x values in the right hand column we have our f of x or our y values so you can see when x is minus 2 f of x is 23 when x is minus 1 f of x is 13 when x is 0 f of x is 7, when x is 1, f of x is 5, and when x is 2, f of x is 7. Okay, let's try our other one. So f of x equal to 4x cubed, so that's 4 alpha x. Now to cube it, we don't go with the square button, we go with the other power button, and we need to type in our 3. When you do use the power button, you have to press across to get back out of the power. So then we press plus. Now on 14x over 3. So that's a fraction. 14 alpha x. Press down over 3. And that's our function there. 4x cubed plus 14x over 3 equals... Now, where do I want to start? So I'm just going to start somewhere differently this time. So let's say minus 5. Where do I want to end? Well, we can end at 3. And let's keep the steps at 1 equal. And now we have our table here. So when x is minus 5, the f of x is minus 523.3. When x is minus 4, the f of x is 274.6 when x is minus 3 the f of x is minus 122 when x is minus 2 f of x is minus 41.33 minus 1 and minus 8.6666 0 and 0 1 and 8.6666 and 2 and 41.33 Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.